Um, perhaps I should just say about yeah. this that um, Up on the Roof is a title stolen from um, a song by Carol King and Jerry Goffin, and I always loved the mood that that song created, so uh, that was perhaps part of the starting point for Bono Up on the Roof. You wonder why it is they write of it, sing of it, till suddenly you're there, nearest you can get to flying or jumping, and you're alone at last, the air bright. Remembering this, I go with my too light jacket up to the sixth floor, out onto the roof, and I freeze under the stars, till he comes with my too heavy jacket, heavier and heavier as he tries to muffle my foolishness. A blanket on a fire, he says, and it's true, I'm left black, bruised a little, smouldering. You can sit with a book up there and reel in life with someone else's bait. You can let your eyes skim the river, bridges, banks, a seagull's parabola. At night, you can watch the sky, those strange galaxies, like so many cracks in the ceiling, spilling secrets from the flat above. You can breathe, you can dream. But he turns to me as you'd coax a child in the back of a stuffy car. We could play I spy. I look at the black and blue above, and the only letter I find is S. I cannot name the dust of starlight, the pin-headed planets. But I can join the dots to make a farming tool, the belt of a god. All any of us needs is work, mystery, a little time alone, up on the roof. What every woman should carry. My mother gave me the prayer to St. Teresa. I added a used tube ticket, Kleenex, several polo mints, furry, a tampon, pesetas, a florin. Not wishing to be presumptuous, not trusting you either, a pack of three. I have a pen. There is space for my guardian angel. She has to fold her wings. Passport. A key. Anguish at what I said, didn't say, when once you needed, didn't need me. Anodin. A credit card. His face the last time. My impatience. My useless youth. That empty sack, my heart. A box of matches. History. It's only a week, but already you are slipping down the cold black chute of history. Postcards. Phone calls. It's like never having seen the wall, except in pieces, on the dusty shelves of friends. Once, I queued for hours to see the moon in a box inside a museum. So wild, it should have been kept in a zoo at least. But there it was, unremarkable, a pile of dirt some god had shaken down. I wait for your letters now, a fleet of strange cargo with news of changing borders, a heart's small journeys. They're like the relics of a saint. Opening the dry white papers is kissing a bone. Dancing at Oakmead Road. Sometimes I think of its bright, cramped spaces, the child who grew there and the one we lost. How when we swept up for its newest lover, the empty rooms were still so full of us. The honeyed boards I knew would yet hold close our dusts, some silver from my father's head. The resin of the wood would somehow catch in patina the pattern of his tread. That time in the back room, laughing and drunk, Geraldo and his orchestra, a tune that had you up and waltzing and me quiet, my throat so achy at the sight of you glimpsing for a second how it might have been before his mouth went down on yours, before the wall, before the children broke into the dance, before the yoke of work, before. It's fine. Freight. 
I am the ship in which you sail, little dancing bones, your passage between the dream and the waking dream, your sieve, your pea-green boat. I'll pay whatever toll your ferry needs, and you, whose history is already charted in a rope of cells, be tender to those other unnamed vessels who will surprise you one day, tug-tugging, irresistible, and float you out beyond your depth, where you'll look down, puzzled, amazed. The weighing of the heart. What does the heart weigh? More than the pull of your small hand on mine? More than your head's light heaviness on my shoulder? Under the tender pressure of sleep, my old wool jacket becomes your memory of consolation, comfort, that ancient sweetness of love and tweed. Remembering this, watching you, I lose my place entirely, not knowing who's the head, who's the sleeve, who's the big hand and who's the small. The ancients measured a good heart against the slightest puff of down in the gleam and glitter of delicate scales. Like Thoth, we watch and wait. What does the heart weigh? Less than your head's tiny burden, for lighter than a feather is love, and this the Egyptians knew. The Elevator As an oyster opens, wondrous, and through mud lets glitter that translucent promise, so the lift doors close and I am inside alone with Leonard Cohen. Vertigo, fear, desire, I could unpeel myself here, not just down to the honest, freckled skin of me, but through the sticky layers of a past. Surely he'd know me anywhere. Remember that time in the Colston Hall, how you sang only to me? The Albert Hall, when I blagged a press seat and you never once took your eyes from my shining face. Here, now, today, in Toronto, how did you find me? How did you know I'd be here? He looks to where I stand in the radiant silence, the earth falling away beneath us, till the silvery gates slide open to release him. He steps out. He steps out and I stand still. Do you know where you're going? He asks. Is this where you wanted to be? 